Let's see how we can convert this parametric equation into a rectangular equation, namely the Cartesian equation. So we have x is equal to 3 plus 2 cosine t, and y is equal to 1 plus 2 sine t. Our goal is to merge these two equations so that we have one equation at the end with just x and y. Look at this, we have cosine t, and then look at this, we have sine t. The most important thing we want to pay attention to is the angles inside are the same, and we are dealing with sine and cosine. And this is what we can do. Instead of isolating the t from the x equation, let's isolate the cosine t from the x equation. Likewise, we will also isolate the sine t from the y equation. Let me show you. For this one, we have x is equal to 3 plus 2 cosine t, and then do the usual deal, that's minus 3 on both sides. This is going to give us x minus 3 equals to 2 cosine t, and then we can definitely divide both sides by 2. So at the end, uh, we have x minus 3 over 2 equals to cosine t, right? And we'll do the similar things with the y equation. y is equal to 1 plus 2 sine t, and this is going to give us minus 1 on both sides, so we have y minus 1, and that will give us 2 sine t, and then divide both sides by 2. So we have y minus 1 over 2, and that will give us sine t. And you may be wondering, what good does this do? Well, the deal is that when you have cosine and sine, if the angles inside are the same, we can just square both sides. So this is the first one that we have, and likewise, we'll do the same thing right here as well. At the end, this is going to give us what? Look at this, we have x minus 3 squared. Let me put it down this way for you guys. x minus 3 squared, don't multiply this out. Then put this down in a parenthesis like this. Over 2 squared, so we have this over 4, right? And then plus, we're adding these two equations together, so you're adding this quantity right here as well. You have y minus 1 squared, and then over 2 squared, and once again, I'm keeping the top, and I'm squaring the bottom like this. At the end, if I add these two equations, what do we get? Cosine squared plus sine squared will be equal to 1, when the angles that we have is the same. So we have this, and this is equal to 1, right? So this is pretty much it. And of course, if you would like, you can multiply everything by 4 by this equation, and you will see, perhaps I'll put it down here, you get x minus 3 squared, because the 4 and 4 cancel, and then we will also have plus y minus 1 squared, and at the end we have the 4 times 1. So we have the 4 here. And this right here will be the answer in terms of getting the um, Cartesian equation, but can we explain what this equation is about? The graph of this equation is going to be a what? Circle. So let me write it down for you guys. This is going to be a circle, and then two important things that you have to tell me. The center of the circle and the radius of the circle. The center, look at the x. We have x minus 3, and you do the opposite of what you see. So center is actually as 3, comma. Likewise, for the y, to do y minus 1, right? But then this y value of the center, it's actually 1. Center, 3 comma 1, and then we also have to talk about the radius. The radius of the circle, look at this, don't look at this as 4, you look at this as 2 square, and the radius is this number before you square, which is the 2. Radius is equal to 2. Okay? So this right here summarizes how does this equation look like in the Cartesian world, namely the x and y world. And that is it.